Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some traditional Irish soda bread. We have never had soda bread, uh, Irish soda bread before, but this was uh, in Meyer. It was $2.99 for uh, this big, uh, this is 16 ounces. It's a whole pan, uh, sorry, whole pan, uh, pound of soda bread. Uh, so what you want to do, it does not have any instructions on it whatsoever. So I went to the internet and Googled <laughs> How are you supposed to eat soda bread? And I also asked a friend of mine. And uh, you want to uh, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You can use a toaster oven as well. I'm going to use just the regular oven because I'm going to heat, uh, heat the entire um, pound. But you want to uh, move it over and you want to heat it. Uh, bake it in the oven for seven to eight minutes. So we're going to put this in the oven and then we'll be back. So this was in the oven for seven minutes and I'm going to move it. It's going to be hot. There we go. Just going to move it over to my cutting board just so we can see how it looks on the inside. I'm going to just start right in the middle. A sweet smell just so you know it smells sweet to me so we're gonna take this over to the table and give it a try there's not a lot of information on the bag itself it says an eighth of the loaf 57 grams is 200 calories uh, this is made by GBC in Schamburg Illinois um, and it has if you're wondering what does it have it has um, uh, enriched flour malted barley flour um, it, there's raisins, baking soda, uh, but those pieces you see are actually raisins. And it looks like there is uh, sugar on the top. Uh, so we're like just, or something. we're going to try, ooh, look at all those raisins. There's a little coating on the outside. I like the flavor of it, it's sweet. Mm -hmm. That's what the kind of bread part tastes like. And I want to get the crust. That's what I ate first. It's a denser texture than like traditional like white bread. You know what though? You could easily sit here and eat this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Or at least bit. Kevin and I could because we really like bread. I love bread. If you had a little butter. Yes, and that's what I was going to say. We are trying it plain. But I asked my friend Malcolm, I said, have you ever had this and how do you eat it? And he said, he likes to eat it with butter. So that's how we'll eat the rest of it. We wanted to try it plain for you for the video, just so we could talk about the textures and the flavors. But then we will absolutely, we have some tub butter. We will absolutely be putting mm -hmm. some tub butter on here. But I'm going to be very, very honest. I like it just the way it is mm -hmm. with nothing as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's very good. Yes, because the outer part, you hear that? That is, yeah, it, yes, it has a um, like a pieces of sugar mm -hmm. all on the outside of it, a crispy crust. And then the inside of it, even when you don't get that, the inside is, there's still a sweetness to yeah, it. It's not super sweet, but there is a slight sweetness. Yes. It, yeah. It's not like. It's not it, as sweet no. as a cinnamon roll or something. Exactly. But, but there is a, it, it's not regular plain mm, white bread. No, no. It, it, there is a sweetness to it. And I do like the raisins. I think if I were to do this again, mm -hmm. I would probably take it out right out of the package, slice it into slices. Right. Lay it out on a, the, each slice out on a cookie sheet or baking pan and bake it and toast it just a little bit. Right. Okay. Well, see, we'd never we done didn't it before. Know. Yeah. And the internet just said heat it. Yeah. So, you know, it didn't know what form it was coming in or anything like that. So you wouldn't be able to put this in a toaster oven, though. It would be too crumbly, just to let you know. Or not a toaster oven, a toaster. A toaster. Yes. Because, yes. Because you had wondered, could you slice yeah. it? It's it not toaster. together enough to be in a toaster. Right. This would, uh, you're going to, it's going to fall apart in a toaster and you're going to have a fire. So don't do that. <laughs> It's but good. it's delicious, and I've never seen it in my <coughs> before recently. For the you know, we're around the St. Patrick's Day time, and so we've never seen it before. So I hope you can find it in your area. If you've had it before, let us know how you eat it, and thanks for watching.